Hi guys, Steve here. There's lots of places to build on that aberration map. Ones that are down below and others that are high up like this. But many other places don't have access to water. You could build a huge pipe system back to your base. But for some that's impractical. And for those of you who are on the PvP servers, if you have your base nicely hidden away somewhere, you don't want a pipe system leading raiders back to where you've built. So to help you hide on this map, and build your base in areas where there isn't water, I'm going to show you my waterless base idea. I came up with this while playing on Scorched Earth, but I'm showing you this now in case you want to build in a toxic radioactive zone, because the only water down here is deadly. I'll just drop my bulb dog or he'll die. If you go into the poison river and drink, you can gain water, but I think that's a mechanic the devs have forgot about. However, you can't fill your flask and your hazard suit will take constant damage. Plus, you're not able to connect pipes to this water source. The intake pipe won't work. So, I'm going to show you my concept base on our test server. There it is, and I'll start with the outside. As you'll see, there are no water pipes, wells, or any kind of water going into our base. I'm also trying out an anti-nameless design. I built the Z-plants two towers up as it'd be off the ground. I placed them on catwalks hoping the light would shine down the sides to the area below. Up there they're out of reach of the nameless, but if I'd placed them on the ground it's likely that the plants or crop plots would get destroyed by the nameless. Up to now none of them have, and I surround my base with light to stop them attacking. This is like the landing pad area where I'd keep our rock drake. There's Manic Musper working on his video at the moment. This is a cliff we have to climb up. Down there is where all the drake eggs are. We're about halfway down the map but there's still a huge drop below. The turrets are just for show and against animals because there's no one else on the server. Okay let's go inside. First of all we come to a ramp, I get to where I've done that a bit later. I did the double dino doors as a kind of airlock, it's more visual than anything. And that brings us inside the base. Over to the left we have the aircons to hatch your rock drake eggs. You need lots of them because the eggs have to be really cool. I was hoping the aircon would remove the radiation from a room, but unfortunately it doesn't. Then we've got normal stuff like refrigerators and vaults. I've just put the basic stuff in at the moment, just to keep us by. Through these doors gives us access to the Z plants. That lets me top them up with fertiliser. The smith is on this side. Upstairs is mostly empty, but here you have your bunk beds to spawn at. I need to put a vault next to these so I can put hazard gear inside, because as soon as you spawn here you'll start dying of radiation. Okay, down here is where the important stuff is. And this is how I get water from thin air. The basement of this building is filled with water reservoirs. You start off by building pipe intersections along a floor. Try and cover the floor and get as many in as you can. I built this basement two towers high because I didn't like the way these plants would stick through the floor and I wanted them out of sight. That left an empty space here so I thought it'd be a good place to put a water system. But with having moved the base floor two towers high, I had to do that ramp that you saw in the start to the ground. You can do it in a basement like this, but it's better if you do it on a roof, if you're on a map that has rain, because the tanks would fill up faster. That's because instead of having ceiling towers on top, you'd be covering your roof in metal hatch frames. That way the rain will fall through the holes and into the tanks below, filling them up. Once you've got the hatch frames in, Fill the holes with trapdoors, then allocate the same pin number to each of them. I 
You don't necessarily can activate all of them at the same time. There's one road done, so I'll skip me doing the rest. Now to finish off, place a metal reservoir underneath the centre of each hatch frame. It doesn't have to be exactly spot on, just so the rain falls through the middle of the hatch into the reservoir below. Of course that only works on a map with rain, and aberration doesn't seem to have any. That's why I built my water tanks in the basement out of the way, but the roof method will be fine for scorched earth. It's a bit off centre but the rain will still touch it. Once you've got all the water tanks in, place keypads all around your base. That way you can open all the trapdoors at the same time when it's raining. The rain will come into the tanks below and fill them up quicker. And this is what it looks like from above. As you can see they're not exactly centred, but as long as part of it gets touched by rain it will fill up. But of course not an aberration because there's no rain. Or you can close them all at the same time if you're under attack. There you go, and now you're nice and safe and nothing can get in. Anyway, back to my version of the base. Water tanks slowly collect water over time. I think a bit like the condensation effect. But all these tanks linked together give you an amount that you can use. Then I have a pipe going upstairs to the main living area. Giving us nice fresh water. Over here we have a power generator, but you can have that anywhere. So with this system, even though the base hasn't got any water coming into it, you've got plenty of water for your tribe members to use. You can fill your canteens up. And you've got plenty of water left over in the tanks. The only thing that won't work is connecting an industrial cooker. Oh, and I've got a power cables and outlets under the floor to make the living quarters look better. They look like big tongs sticking out the wall. I'll just close up before I go and give you one last look around. And that's how you create a waterless base with plenty of water. I hope this gives you a few ideas when you build your base. Thanks for watching. If it was helpful, click the like button. And if you're new, please click subscribe. You can also click the bell icon and get notified as soon as I upload next. And don't forget to check out my other helpful videos. Goodbye and hope to see you again.